It's estimated that residential outdoor use accounts for nearly 9 billion gallons of water used daily, most of which is being used to water your garden or your lawn. It's also estimated that nearly 50% of this water is being wasted due to overly watering, largely due to inefficient irrigation methods or systems. What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care. Today I want to talk to you about irrigating your lawn or garden. You have spots in your yard that are sometimes brown and other spots that are greener than others and you can't figure out why. Well, I might have the perfect system for you. Not only are we going to install this and hook it up together to show you how easy it is, but we're going to see it in action as well. So let's get going on this. Let's show you what exactly I'm talking about. I have what is called the Rainpoint uh, Plus Smart System here. And we're gonna show you what this kit does, exactly how it works. We're gonna install the everything from the app to showing you exactly how every bit of this works, what comes in this package, and what exactly it does. So let's install this thing. All right, so following these directions, the first thing you need to do is download the app and register. Once you are done with that, now we are going to take our smart hub here. We are going to add, but we want to make sure this is plugged in most all the time because the batteries of this are to be used only as a backup. So keep this plugged in somewhere, mount it, do whatever you want to do. It's nice, it's not gonna look bad, I promise. So after registering my account, we're gonna get into the app. We're gonna find the add button here. We're going to hit the add button. I don't know if y'all can even see that up there, but hopefully you can. Let's see if we can here. So we're gonna hit the add button and we are going to, uh, on the top right, select Display Hub. Display Hub, there we go. Uh, adding a Wi-Fi device requires granting. Yep, we're good for that, so let's do that. Uh, allow. And then we've got our Wi-Fi. We're gonna enter our password real quick. No peeping. So then we're going to power on the device with the power cable, get ready to connect. We're gonna hold the Wi-Fi button for five seconds until it displays scan, which is gonna come right down here, as you can see. Then we're gonna make sure the de device is close enough to the router. Then we're gonna click next here. And now it is searching for the device. Right, so now we have our smart hub added to the thing. It is connected with Wi-Fi, it tells us today uh, don't tell us the high or anything yet. I'm not sure if that happens whenever we go to. Uh, but it tells me on here, but it just ain't showed up here yet. But it does tell me that today's Monday. Everything's on time, 1120. I mean, it, the time, everything seems right. Indoor temperature, uh, the humidity. Um, percentage and outside well we don't have our stuff out there yet so it's not going to tell us that and the high today and the low today well don't tell us that yet neither so but we will see uh, then we have our usage for our gallons of usage that it tells us how much how many gallons we've used of water uh, and our next plan when it is set to actually work so let's move on and continue adding all this stuff Next, we're going to open up our air humidity sensor here. We're going to put some, comes with a hanging thing, so you can hang this on your tree or whatever you would like to do. Uh, set it outside, hang it in a tree. However, but we're going to put some batteries in this. This takes two AA. The, uh, you, you're going to need a lot of batteries, okay? Get a lot of batteries. Uh, the display hub takes three batteries for the backup. This is two batteries a piece, um, or well, this is two batteries. These, I believe, take two batteries. The water flow meter takes two or three batteries. Uh, the smart flow here takes three batteries. So get a, get a pack of batteries because you're going to need them. And uh, 
but it's going to last you a while. So, so as you see, uh, my connection went out in the background, but we are going to add this device. It's the air uh, sensor. So then it says, please insert the batteries into the device and then it should, should automatically connect with this hub. So we'll see how long this takes here. And boom, our sensor works. So uh, step for the wise here is follow the instructions, okay? Don't do what I just did. Add the batteries uh, after you get into the pairing mode, then add the batteries to it. I added the batteries, then went to pairing mode. Don't do that. So uh, now we have our sensor information here, sensor one. Apparently you can add multiple sensors to this. This goes outside. So we will, uh, we will hook this up to this and we will stick it in a tree or something outside to get that taken care of. All right guys, so what we're looking at here is the smart hub and everything you're going to see here, I'm gonna tell you. So once you hook everything up with your Wi-Fi, then this is what you're going to get. Uh, hooking everything up, once again, real simple. All you have to do is add the batteries. You'll go on the app, go to add something, pick what you want to add, and it will tell you to add the batteries. And then once you do that, then it will connect to your smart hub. So after everything's connected, you can tell that this is the high temperature for today. Uh, this is, you know, the time, this is the date. Uh, this is your indoor temperature here. And if we go to here, this is our smart garden zone one, then that's the left side of the uh, water flow and the last time we used it was 0.1 gallons. The last usage on the right side was 3.7 gallons. And then you can cycle that as well, if you tell from the arrows, and it'll cycle between the first zone and second zone there, or you can go back and turn that off. Then we've got our sensors over here, let's show you that. So outside, uh, what we got going on, sensor one, all right, so outside we've got 106.8 is what our temperature gauge is reading with 41% humidity. Uh, we also have our sensor two, which is our water uh, meter for catching the rain meter. And we have had zero inches of rain in the past 24 hours. Zone three and four, or sensor three and sensor four are gonna be my soil uh, moisture. And what they're gonna tell you is, they're gonna tell you the ground temperature. So the ground temperature on uh, sensor number three is 114, 66% uh, is the moisture level. And then we've got 114 degrees temperature in the soil uh, with 35% on our sensor four so then outside once again you know it says it's 101 but once you get to your actual sensor uh, 106.8 that's probably humidity and everything so uh, one good thing about your sensor three sensor four your soil moisture uh, sensors here is I'm going to show you in the app that uh, see our moisture is level is at 35 so you can go into the app and once again I'll show you this and you can set this to where a certain percentage uh, it will shut off your irrigation system that's connected to this so let's show you that our smart hub here so this is going to tell us pretty much anything our sub devices which are a rain gauge and such. So our rain gauge, the past 24 hours, we've had zero inches of rain. Past seven days, we've had almost an inch and the total uh, is almost three inches. So you can also go to charts here and this will tell you the last 30 days and tell you the day and uh, how much rain you got on them days as well. And then we can back out of this and we will go to our sensor uh, rain gauge, <clears throat> or sorry, our heat gauge here. It's gonna tell us our humidity and the temperature outside. And then we can also go to, this is our flow gauge. So this hooks up to the uh, water and this is our flow meter. So they recommend hooking this up to a totally different unit than what the uh, actual 
timer and stuff is on so you can you know keep track of how many gallons you're using in real time so it'll tell you on the gauge as well on the app the real time the last duration the last water usage uh, total you've used on that and then we got our left valve and our right valve so same thing last water usage on the left valve was 0.1 gallons 3.7 on the right valve now here's where it gets fun you can go in and you can plan uh, stuff so you got rain delays on you can add an irrigation plan set it up to water certain times of the day if we go to settings here we also have a mist mode a default duration of how long it's going to water for uh, and you can pair with the soil sensor now this is where it gets cool it's because you can pick which soil sensor you want so we'll pair it with uh, soil sensor 2 and intelligent irrigation this is where it gets fun so you can enable this and when the soil moisture is at confirm uh, when the soil moisture is at come on there we go and when the soil moisture is at uh, say 70 percent or whatever you want to set this to then you can make it to where it does not uh, turn on whatsoever so you don't have to worry about that turning on and depending on what you've got your you know you got your left valve your right valve so depending on which one you have that set to is uh, make sure it's the one that's going to your irrigation then we don't want to save any of these so we'll discard that then we'll go back here we'll go to our sensor so this just tells you the lux uh, outside, how bright it is. Tells you, once again, the, the moisture and your uh, thing. So, you know, I've got quite a bit of moisture going up by the house, but down the hill where it is turning brown is where I'm at 35% at. So I need to water more down there for sure. And so I'm, I'm you know, this, tells you a lot of information you can go through here and you can set all kinds of stuff up on this app so you know hopefully this helps you so what we're going to show you here is the left valve and the right valve you can, can still control these or you can just by pressing the button on and off turns it right on turns it right back off and you can control this from your app as well so Another great feature about this is when you go to do your irrigation, uh, you can control this from anywhere. Click on it. You can turn it on for an hour, two hours, as you can tell the timer. We're going to turn it on for one minute here. Watch this thing take off. Look at that thing roll. And then once your minute's up, uh, we'll show you here. It will automatically stop for you. So here we go. We got two, one, and off. And watch it take off look at that love it love it talk about a great feature so now let's go to the soil sensors this is what you see here that shows you the lumens and tells you your moisture in your soil and how much you need to water if you need to water at all now we're going to show you the flow meter and the flow meter has quick disconnects as you can see here so if you don't want to use this you don't have to but it does have a quick disconnect uh, we can see how much we've used so 1.85 gallons press it again it'll tell you the uh, total for that day and we're going to turn it on here we're going to show you as this uh it working as it reads so you can tell you know i mean it's pretty cool how this thing works i'm not sure exactly how it works but it, it works pretty phenomenal actually because uh check this out here we go we're going to turn it on and boom and now as you can tell my stupid faucet leaks or my nozzle here but look at it it uh it tells you as you go you know how much how much you're using and if you turn this up well it'll get faster of course and uh yeah pretty pretty dead gum neat feature is what this is what well, good way to keep track of how many gallons uh, you use or maybe you only want to put a certain amount of water in something and so now you can know exactly how much water you were putting in there and as you can tell this thing ain't leaking at all so all right now we're going to show you our rain point 
uh, rain gauge sensor here and this thing is uh, pretty accurate it's accurate up to 0.1 millimeters which is very very accurate another great thing about this is it's only four inches uh, in width and five inches high so it's very small and compact and it does a great job for all by all means for everything it does so uh, this thing is phenomenal all right guys so that's going to do it for this video hopefully this helps you out if you have any questions feel free to comment down below this system works very very well and is very very accurate as well so if you'd like to check out any of the products feel free to go check them out at rainpointonline.com i will put that here as well as in the description below plus i will also put a 15 percent off code down in the description so if this is something you would like to order well feel free to take advantage of the 15 percent off because this thing is totally phenomenal i will tell you that i've been using it for about three weeks now another thing i would like to say is thank you to ram point for sponsoring this video uh, without you this wouldn't be possible so you know this thing works phenomenal i look forward to using it more my wife's going to get a soaker hose for the left valve since there's nothing on it so she can water her garden without having to go out there in the heat and water so and then we've got the right valve hooked up to the sprinkler system so uh to take care of our irrigation force so thanks for watching guys once again don't forget to like comment subscribe i'm danny i will see you in the next one let's go i'm a strap in the great yep. knock with the base yep. i got the echo locked in your face Ooh. if you want to battle this is not that place you can meet me at the table and come get a taste we talk to youtube live yep. where i thrive yep. see me on the tour watch the grass fly by some think that i'm cocky to walter milwaukee it really don't matter because y'all can get off me if you like the video sub then hit a play we got 10k